What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and see what messages come out for you. What is it that Scorpio needs to know for the next seven days here? Okay. What is it that Scorpio needs? The abundance card came out. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So you got the abundance card wanting to come out. All right, what else do you have for Scorpio in the next seven days? What's the energy of Scorpio in the next seven days, please? What is the energy of Scorpios in the next seven days? And blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Okay. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order here. So I see money, abundance, prosperity coming in for you here. Realizing that your money, your financial stability, abundance, as in like abundance can come in different forms. Sorry, my foot was itching. Abundance can come in different forms, okay? Abundance can represent, you know, love, happiness, money, wealth, stability, you know, whatever it is. It could have something to do with your, your root chakra as well with this um, red color coming out here, which is the root chakra energy, root chakra color. So whatever is like your foundation, you know, what really grounds you to the earth and things like that, that's what I see you really focusing on. And you're saying to yourself, I cannot find like happiness or security outside of me. I have to find it within me. I accept that as my responsibility to make sure I'm good. Okay. So let's see what else is coming towards Scorpio in the next seven days here. And we'll pull a couple of oracles as well. What else is coming towards Scorpio in the next seven days? What's the energy for Scorpio in the next seven days, Spirit? Woo! Your energy. The death card. So you standing in your power here. With this death card energy, this is letting me know you're like you're ending things that no longer need to be in your life here. Letting go of things that no longer suit you. Okay? That are no longer beneficial yet. You standing in your power. King of Wands. You're in this entrepreneur mindset as well. King of Wands and the star energy here. Okay? You're in this Ten of Swords is there. Some of you have ended some type of relationship with the lovers and the Ten of Swords. And you're standing in your power and realizing, like, I'm the GOAT. You know, I'm the greatest of all times. I can create any and everything that I want to in this life. It's up to me. It's not up to who I'm with. It's not about who I'm with or who I'm in love with or what type of uh, friendships I have around me. It's about what I can do for myself is what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. That's boss. That's real boss. Top of the deck, we have Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Fool card. Yeah, you're taking a leap here towards the unknown, towards new beginnings here with this energy. Look at you bossing up. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Fool energy. This is beautiful. Nine of Pentacles is independence. This is someone who knows their value, knows their worth. She is like the pre-Empress energy. So you could be male or female. It's just a feminine energy. But this is the pre-Empress energy, knowing that they're worthy of greatness. You know what I'm saying? You have the, your money, your finances will be good, looking good in the next seven days. Also see you like moving towards something here. Sorry about that. Moving towards something here, like taking a leap towards a new beginning here and moving quickly at that. So let's see what else is happening for Scorpio in the next seven days for Scorpio. The Hierophant, the Five of Cups. I see um, some type of connection that I feel like you're growing from. You've learned from it. Something about this connection was uh, very, like, it, it has a lot to do with where you're going in this new direction here. Because you've learned a lot from it, from this here, this Hierophant energy. You learned a lot. It was like a, you were once the student, but now you're the teacher type of energy. Like, now you're teaching other people how to get through this. I see you looking back, though, but you're healing. That's the thing, the temperance energy. You're healing from it. It's something that... You healed from, but I feel like you're looking back because you're like, wow, how did I miss that? Or wow, what could I learn from that situation? Like the way you're looking at it, Scorpio, is it's really, it's really dope. Like you're looking at it more of like a spiritual way instead of like in the 3D. You're looking at it more in the 5D of like, okay, this situation didn't work out because, and I need to learn the lesson of from that so that I can grow and transform here from that. So I see you kind of like, transforming from the energy instead of allowing it to like swallow you let's see give me more for scorpio in the next seven days with this hierophant 
you learn from whatever this transformation. Yeah, the devil. Some of you could have been dealing with a very toxic situation or a karmic cycle here that you finally put an end to, that you evolved from. Set of wands. Now you're learning how to like either stand up for yourself or guard yourself towards deception, towards people that either took advantage of you or that were very toxic to you, that were just not overall good for you. Whether this is a family member, a friend, a lover, okay, you're realizing how to stand up for yourself how to hold back from people. Some of you, these were like people that like took advantage of your money, of your finances here, page of swords. Uh, they brought a lot of disappointment in your life here. They still could actually be watching you as well. You got the two of cups, the five of wands and the three of wands. I just heard, why do I have to fight for love? So some of you, you feel, you feel like you had to fight for a connection for someone and you realize it shouldn't be like that. Like somebody could have, Brought like a lot of drama into your life, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing into your life here. Some of you actually fought for something. Like you literally fought for something like tooth and nail for something for a future. But I feel like there might have been like extra people involved. Three of, pen three of wands, three of pentacles, the magician, the hermit energy. It could have been just, yeah, in the tower. You could have found out that there was a third party. Like, you could have been trying to manifest this, but, like, you were manifesting it on your own. Like, the other person wasn't manifesting this if this was a connection. I just feel like there was a lot of people in this energy or in this connection. Like, whoever this was that you were in a connection with, there was a lot of outside people involved. Whether this person was bringing in extra people, messing around with extra people, or if it was, like, a family situation and, like, other... I don't know why my nose is feeling like it's itching. Or, like say it was like a family dynamic, right? That it was like a lot of he say, she say, or let me tell you what they said. Like a lot of people getting involved and it was causing a lot of conflict. But the thing is you learn from that. And like, you're, I feel like you're getting away from it. Like you're moving away from it. You're growing from it. Like you learned your lesson and you learned, okay, I need to set my guards up when I, when I meet people like this, or when I feel this type of energy, I need to make sure I'm setting up a, a guard or I'm, I need to make sure I have, um, I don't let this person borrow money because then when it's time for them to pay me back, they want to argue and hoop and holler with me. Like, that's the type of energy I'm getting for you. What else do you have for Scorpio in the next seven days? Give me three more cards for Scorpio in the next seven days. We have the Six of Wands. Look at you being victorious over this. Ace of Wands. Two more cards for Scorpio in the next seven days. The Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. What else do you have for Scorpio in the next seven days? And the page of pentacles. Why is my nose itching? I don't know what it means when your nose itch, but it's been itching since I've started this reading. It's so weird. It feels like something's like tickling my nose. Ace of pentacles, bottom of the deck. The good thing, Scorpio, is whatever this was that you had to go through, it's leading you towards victory. Okay, you got the six of wands, the nine of pentacles, and the page of pentacles energy coming out here. Whatever this was, it's leading you towards victory. You're about to be very prosperous. You're about to be very abundant. A lot of people are going to recognize you. They're going to see you. And I feel like what Spirit did was the people that no longer needed to be in your life had to be revealed so that they could be let go. Okay? Because you're about to step into this energy of abundance because you have, first of all, you have three, no, four cards of abundance and recognition and reward coming in. And you have three cards of money on it, but the six of wands represents victory as well, success. So you have all successful energy coming in. So it's like whoever these relationships or connections that you were once in had to be released from your life. And maybe, okay, maybe you were holding on to people that were not good for you. So it's like with the Hierophant stepping in, there was higher uh, work here, right? The universe, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your God, whatever your belief is had to reveal the toxicity around you in order to release it so that you can accept this new beginning here. A lot of times that's what happens to us. The moon, look, I told you, I told you, the moon and the emperor, the moon, there were so many things that were hidden from you that you could not see. Okay. And so what happened is spirit had to reveal that so that you can gain control and release what needed to be released. The hangman, the justice card. This is like divine intervention, the three of swords. Some of you, again, it was a third party situation, nine of wands, third party situa situation, the lovers. Somebody could have chose somebody else over you, ten of swords energy. 
Some of you, you could have just been dealing with like back, backstabbing friends, people that were not true. I was the saying um, a lot of times God, the, the way they said, God hears the conversations that you don't hear because you're not present. And so sometimes those are situations that happen. And like maybe there was some stuff being said about you you didn't know about, Scorpio. But I'm seeing with this moon energy and the emperor, like something had to be illuminated because something was being hidden where you couldn't take control, where you couldn't make a decision here because you didn't know what was going on. But that's OK, because the universe stepped in and indebted that ended it, ended it for you or brought to the light what needed to be seen, what needed to be revealed here with the moon. The moon came out is shown. If you look, the crab is coming out of the water, right? The moon illuminated what needed to be seen. And so you either you found out some stuff about somebody, maybe something that they had said about you, or maybe some stuff that they were doing to you or doing behind your back. You found out about it. And although it hurt, although it hurt, and you wanted to try so much with this person, you had to let it go because all they were doing was they kept disappointing you. Either they were choosing other people over you or either they were like being backstabbing towards you, talking behind your back being manipulative, being controlling, you know, whatever was going on here with this toxic energy. Mm, okay, how many minutes? 11. All right, let's see. So I just want to do, yeah, let's do the new deck. This is the Energy Oracle deck. No, 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 no. I want to do the other deck. What did I do with it? There it is. This is the Believe in Your Own, Believe in Your Own Magic deck, Oracle deck here. What other messages do you have for Scorpio for the next seven days? What other messages do you have for Scorpio in the next seven days? Let's see what comes out for you. What other messages do you have for Scorpio in the next seven days? The Scorpio needs to know. What other messages do you have for Scorpio in the next seven days? Wow. What other messages does Scorpio need to know in the next seven days? Maybe they don't want you to have this set. There we go. Something's coming out. Okay. You got three. You got number seven, number five, and number 13. Bottom of the deck is number four. And number four is mirror. Treat your body like the, pla the palace it is. So some of you, you had to realize that the vessel that you were in is very powerful. So some of you, you're needing to... And I hate to say it this way, but you get away from sexual connections that people are like devaluing you, that are using you, that are taking advantage of you. Some of you need to get away from that. Some of you are needing to look in the mirror and realize that you are worthy of so much better than what you have been settling for or what you have been allowing to be in your life or um, taking advantage of you. You have number seven, the sword, make the change. Make the change here. Some of you, again, it, it, if you're still, depending on what uh, timeline you're on, some of you still need to walk away. You could be still stuck in this toxic karmic cycle here, you know, and it's, it's actually holding you back from a lot of prosperity and abundance on the other side here, just depending on where you are, because we're all on different time frames here, okay? But with that blame card, I accept responsibility for my well-being. Maybe you keep going back to the toxic cycle and you haven't quite yet been able to let go of it. And it's not an easy thing. I've been through it. I'm pretty sure all of us have been through it. It's not an easy thing. It's hard to let go of a, a toxic connection or a karmic connection or a trauma bond. It is so hard. It is one of the most difficult things you could possibly do. But you can do it. I promise when you get out of it, it feels so powerful. It really does. And you have to realize that you are the one who have to make the change. Because, I mean, this person can walk away from you five, six, seven times. But if you keep going back to them, you know, you're volunteering yourself, you know, to go back through that cycle all over again. We have number five, stars. You can manifest your every wish. Yes, you can. You can manifest your every wish. It's all about change. The importance of change is changing your attitude, changing your mindset here and accepting responsibility for where you want your life to be. Maybe your money isn't where it, where it is that you want it to be. And you have to realize, okay, I can change this. Either I can go out there and get a different job, go out there and get a better job, maybe work two jobs, or 
maybe I can start my side hustle. Maybe I can do that. It's, it's all up to you. You're very powerful. Number 13, lioness. You've earned all your stripes, okay? And I feel like this is just another way of saying, like, you've learned your lesson from the karmic cycle. And now it's time for you to reap your benefits. Like, it's time for you to have all of this abundance here. You don't have to go back to that toxic cycle you've been through. You don't have to go back to that connection that you were once in, whether it was a relationship, a friendship, a family relationship, whatever the heck it was, that job. It could have been a stressful ass job. You know what I'm saying? Like you've earned your stripes. Now it's time for you to receive abundance. But you have to accept the responsibility of your well-being and saying, OK, that job is not for me or that relationship is not for me. That friendship is not for me. That's the hell that family connection is not for me whatever it is you know that's going on in your life you have to accept that responsibility and decide i want better i'm going to have better and because of that because i'm making that choice i'm making that decision i can have everything that i've ever wanted okay but i'm going to leave the reading here and i'll just do another reading okay so i appreciate you guys so 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 much for watching if you enjoyed this video and this resonated Make sure you smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below, below to let me know that this resonated. I always like to interact with you guys down in the comments. And I appreciate you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.